Okay, so how well do you understand percent? Well, if you have pretty strong uh, math skills with percent, then you'll be able to solve this problem here. And let me go ahead and tell you the problem. It is 4 is 22% of what number? Now, when it comes to percent uh, in terms of learning uh, about percent or learning how to solve percent problems, uh, there's a couple different approaches that math teachers and math textbooks take. It all depends on when you went to school, who was your teacher, and uh, the different kind of you know ways you um, could have learned about percent. And this can vary from uh, those of you that are learning about percent right now to those that uh, learned this you know, 30, 40, 50 years ago. But here's the deal. If you know how to solve this problem, do it in the way that you know how to do it. As long as you're not guessing, all right, it's perfectly fine. And feel free to use a calculator because you might get this answer uh, absolutely correct. I'm actually going to show you the solution here in just one second. But the way you answered it may be different than the way I answered it. It's, it's okay, all right? As long as you can do this without guessing and you understand what you're doing, then that's perfectly fine because percent is tremendously important in terms of practical mathematics. You just see this symbol everywhere. Uh, you know, you just go to the store, you see the symbol. You look at the news, they're talking about the economy, you see the symbol. You open up your mail, you look at your bills, you see that symbol. So you got to understand percent, and we're going to get into exactly what we need to do to solve this problem here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm here to tell you that you can be successful in mathematics. And I'm especially speaking to those of you that struggle in math. But what you need is great math instruction, okay? Clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, check out my Math Help program. You'll find a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you out big time. Also, if you happen to be uh, preparing for some sort of test with a math section on it, a lot of you out there don't even realize you're going to be taking a test like this. Any sort of entrance exam, placement exam, certification exam, they all, uh, most of those have some sort of mathematics on it. And if you don't get through the math, you don't get through the exam. So I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, check out my great homeschool program for middle and high school mathematics. Very proud of that. Won a lot of awards um, this year with um, that program. If you need a pair of excellent math notes, you can use mine. I'm going to leave links to my notes in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's get into this problem. But I'm going to show you the solution here in uh, just one moment. So if you don't want to see the answer, pause the video. And if you know the answer, put that into the comment section. But here you go. 4 is 22% of what number? Well, that number is 18.18 repeating. And that little bar over that just means that 18 repeats. So it's 18.18. So if you uh, give me this answer, I would definitely give you full credit if you were in my class. But 18.18 uh, repeating means that that just goes 1.8, 1.8, and just goes on and on and on and on and on. So instead of writing these same digits that repeat, we just put this little bar over it just in case you didn't know that. But if you knew this and you totally got this right, well, let me give you a nice little happy face, an A++. Matter of fact, I'll give you 110% and multiple stars. Back when I uh, was in school in the 70s and 80s, typically the most you can get on a test was 100%, and the highest grade point average you can get was like a 4.0 GPA. But these days, boy, I tell you what, you can get yourself like 150%. Maybe you can give yourself like a 7.0 uh, GPA. Pretty awesome. Either way, outstanding job if you got this right. Again, I'm going to show you how uh, I like to teach this and how I like to solve percent problems. And uh, um, don't feel shy about using a calculator because a calculator is simply a tool. As long as you're not guessing, because there's all sorts of different things we can do here. We got four and 22 percent. You could be like, oh, I can multiply this, divide this. You know, as long as long as you didn't guess to get this answer. That's what counts. So let's get into this right now. All right, so 4 is 22% of what number? Well, let's just pause on answering this question. Let's make sure you can answer more a more basic percent question. How about this? 8% of 53. So if you wanted to find 8% of 53, okay, how would you do that? Well, what you need to do is convert your percent to a decimal and then multiply by that number. All right, so 8% of 53 Again, we're just going to uh, convert a percent to a decimal and multiply by the uh, that number. So how do we go from a percent to a decimal? 
Well, very easy. We take our percent and we divide that by 100, okay? And that effectively means that we're moving the decimal point over two places to the left. So here we have 8% or 8.0%. If we divide by 100, the result's going to be this. It's, this decimal point is going to move over two places to the left, so we're going to end up with 0 0.08. So 8% is equivalent to the decimal 0 0.08. So when we're trying to find a percent of a number, we change the percent to a decimal, and then we multiply by that number. So 0 0.08 uh, times 53, we get our calculator out, is 5.24. All right, so uh, before we answer this more interesting uh, question, got to make sure you know how to just find a percent of a number and convert a percent to a decimal. Okay, so if you understand this, then let's go ahead and use some very, very basic algebra uh, to solve this problem, okay? All right, the way we're going to do this is just translate this sentence into algebra. It's not that difficult to do, so let me just read this to you. So 4 is 22% of what number? Let's go ahead and start translating this uh, written sentence into an algebraic sentence. All right, so 4 is, of course, just 4. When you see the word is, okay, written uh, in a verbal sentence like this, uh, is is always the equal sign, all right? So 4 is equal to or 4 is... So what that um, is, I'm going to replace that with an equal sign. So 4 is, and 4 is equal to 22%. And I'm going to have to go from percent to a decimal. All right, so how do we do that? I'm going to move the decimal point two places to the left. So 22% is the same thing as 0.22. Now, how do we find a percent of a number? Okay, I just showed you here how to find 8%. What was the problem I just did? 8% of 53, okay. Well, uh, if I wanted to find 22% of, this is focusing right here. If I wanted to find 22% of, let's say, whatever number this is, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to turn this into a decimal. All right, so we know that's 0.22. I'm just going to multiply that decimal, which is 0.22, times that number. But what number? Well, we don't know the number. So in algebra, when you don't know a value uh, for a number, you just use a variable. So I'll use this simple variable, x. All I know is whatever number this uh, x represents, I'm going to take that 0.22, multiply uh, that by that number, which we don't know, and that is going to be equal to 4. You kind of have to kind of read this a little bit backwards, but 4 is equal to the result of finding 22% of this number. So you got to be um, pretty uh, comfortable translating uh, verbal sentences into algebraic sentences. So now we have 4 is equal to 0.22 times x. In algebra, we don't put that little multiplication. We write it this way. So 4 is equal to 0.22 times x. And now the objective here becomes solve for x, because x will be our number. So you just got to know how to solve a basic equation. 4 is equal to 0.22x. This is super simple. Let's go ahead and see how this is done. Okay, so if 4 is equal to 0.22x, well, I can uh, write this this way, 0.22x is equal to 4. It doesn't make a difference. If the left is equal to the right, then the right is equal to the left. So I like to uh, put my variable on the left-hand side. And now I'm trying to solve for x, 0.22x is equal to 4. To solve this basic equation, all I have to do is divide both sides of the equation by this number here, 0.22. So 0.22x divided by 0.22 if I divide the left-hand side, I'm going to, have to divide the right-hand side. So 4 is equal to 0.2. Uh, 4 is going to be divided by 0.22. This is going to be our answer. Okay, so 0.22 divided by 0.22. All this is going to be 1x or x. This is our answer. So I uh, get uh, break out my calculator. I go 4 divided by 0.22, and you get that 18.18 repeating. Okay, so let's just check our work here. And if this is true... 4 is 22% of what number? Well, we said it was 18.18. But let's just use 18.18 well, 18 repeating. Let's just use 18.18 uh, in our calculator. Let's, see, let's go ahead and test this. Let's find 22% of 18.18. So I'm going to change that percent to a decimal. That's 0.22. I'm going to multiply it by 18.18. Um, uh, and what you're going to get in your calculator is 3.9999. Okay, so you're going to get... You know, not the perfect exact answer because I did not use all these one eights here. Okay, so this goes on indefinitely to infinity. So the more uh, uh, 18 
uh, 0.18, if I keep repeating these digits in my calculator, you're going to get closer and closer to that final answer. But anyways, you can see 3.9999 is effectively 4, okay? 22% of 18.18 is, okay, this is effectively 4. So you got to be pretty good with checking your answers. And again, percent is nothing to mess with, all right? If there's one math skill you definitely want to master just for practical life you know, knowledge, it is percent. And they do come, you know, percent problems do come in kind of all sorts of different flavors and varieties. There's those basic percent problems. And then there's ones a little bit more interesting like this. But here's the deal. As long as you know how to solve all different sorts of percent problems, that's what counts. So if you did this problem, got it right, were confident in what you did, and um, or like, you know, like the way you learned it, then stick with that, okay? But if you were confused and you're like, oh, I don't understand this, then I would highly recommend uh, learning percent the way I just showed you. Okay, if you need additional help with percent, let me go ahead and give you a couple of recommendations. One, I have a ton of uh, additional percent uh, videos on my YouTube channel, okay? That's the first one. The second one is I have a little mini math course called a Math Foundations course for basic mathematics. Um, so that's a good uh, course for those of you that are just kind of relearning your basic math. It's a three-chapter course. Uh, again, you can find this on my website. And then I would also suggest uh, like my pre-algebra or algebra one course. All depends on what level you're at, but I teach percent in all of those courses. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.